They're big, expensive, and now they are very hard to find. We're talking about highly trained guard dogs. It's the newest business born out of America's crime trend, and they are especially popular in Los Angeles, where burglaries, property crimes, and robberies are all on the rise, especially when it comes to follow home robberies. All the criminals do is drive behind you from the grocery store, follow you to your house, come in, steal watches, jewelry, and whatever else they want. That is, until a robber comes face to face with a German shepherd inside. That's where Mike Israeli comes in, founder of Delta K9 Academy. He is there with Graf. You can see the ears poking up. Hi, Graf. Glad to have you with us. All right, Mike, ex 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 explain to us how demand has changed. Is it, is it all because of the crime wave? Yeah, it is. Actually, it very concerns us and the community nowadays that we're not really safe in our homes. Uh, alarm systems now doesn't work. Uh, police doesn't have enough forces. And uh, unfortunately, we have to come up with something to defend ourselves. And having a gun also is not an option these days because they choose a time that people are sleeping. And the only thing that they can deter and find that is the dog that is trained to do so. It's wild to think about this. The flip side, right, is don't most celebrities have bodyguards and everything else? Well, they do, but the bodyguard is either you're going to afford having a bodyguard 24 7. This bodyguard also sleeps too, I guess, and they don't smell, they don't feel the threat that coming in. Uh, we've been seeing a couple of scenarios in Beverly Hills in wealthy homes being uh, robbed and uh, people were killed. You know, usually securities or bodyguards doesn't work anymore the way that they're supposed to, or they don't want to even be liable for uh, using a force or a gun wow. to kill somebody. Because of, unfortunately, the laws are designed in California that people are really worried to use a gun. Yeah, we've, we've reported on that for sure. So how does this work that if you're a family and you can afford it because the demand now is doubled, tripled the prices of these dogs. But at the same point, how, how is it that you can have a dog like this that can protect you, but at the same time can be around your kids, can go with you out, out to watch your kids play football, can protect you, uh, but still just be around the general public with no problem? Well, they, they are raised like that from eight weeks old. First of all, we pick a right stable puppies from our breeding program. The dog needs to be very stable. The bloodline has to be right. And then you use a, you choose the right puppy to train to the program. And they are being trained around kids, public, uh, very social. And they need to understand the purpose of aggression. You know, a lot of people, they just have aggressive dog and they think they're protected or that's the, the way it's supposed to be. No, it's not. The dog has to show the aggression for a purpose. He needs to understand why is he doing that. And uh, simply when he becomes a member of family, now it's the uh, feeling of protecting his family members or her family members. So it bonds to the family. I, I'm thinking though, like about my dog Dutch, we have a picture of him. Uh, I, I'm guessing that he would not probably be the, the, yeah, you couldn't really teach him to do much, could you? <laughs> yeah, see, the, 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 that's very important, and I get that a lot. People call me, they're like, I have a Chihuahua, I have a <laughs> Labrador, can you teach protection? That's not how it works. There is specific breeds for specific yeah. reasons. Every breed was designed for a purpose, right? Yeah. And uh, now you choose the right dog for the right purpose. Yeah, no, yeah. And Dutch, Dutch, bring... Dutch's purpose is getting treats and belly rubs. We understand that. Yes. Give me a sense, yes. though, of the, the demand. How, you're, you're getting calls now from all over the world for these, for these dogs. Is, could you even have imagined a couple years ago before, I'm thinking before 2020 when the crime rates really spiked uh, and we had all these progressive DAs like the one in, in L.A., could you have imagined the kind of demand that you're seeing now? Is it only rich people? Uh, I was actually seeing that picture with the rays of crime, things are happening. I'm, I'm pretty much involved in law enforcement as well. So I know what's going on around. So yeah, I was seeing this coming up and I, I tell people that it's getting worse and worse. And, and most of the time now we get calls when actually people already got a, had a situation of robbery or attack. Now they're like, okay, what's my options? And they call me. 
But I tell people before that comes to your door, you need to be prepared. Yeah. Hey, Graf, do you have anything to add? Can you speak? Graf, speak. 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 Oh, there we go. Yeah, he won't, he won't even listen to me, uh, which is sort of par for the course yeah, around here. Yeah, that's one of the things. That's <laughs> one of the things. The, the dog not supposed to listen to the aggressor because a lot of people have yeah. dogs. They know how to tell the dog, sit down, stop. Hey. So the dog should listen to the owner only. Yeah, yeah Graf's already figured out what cable news is all about. Mike, it's good to see you. Thank you very much. Graf, you too. Thank Graf, you. Stay Graf, safe out there. It's nice to see you Graf. too. Right, there we go. See you soon. Thanks for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.